Now they pulling out the words, basic words that they know, and they was of one language. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But these people now, what brought them together, first of all, was their language. Mm -hmm. You see? And was, was their speech. Now, not only their language brought them together, but you got to remember their speech. And let me tell you the difference between language and speech, because there's a vast difference that could trip up some people. Uh -huh. All right, language is the lip. We all spoke it, we understood it. But the speech itself was slightly different. They used the same words here in the Bible, but now today our speech is different. Let me put it this way. We all speak English. You, your children, your grandchildren, maybe your great grand, all speak English. But our speech from one generation to the other uh -huh. My son taught me, teaching me. <laughs> what a word. Now, 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 they're not new words because why? Right, it's, it's, it's a stock of words. It's just basic words. They're not new words, but the words carry on a different tone and a different meaning. Uh -huh. uh, my son, I mean, my son one time told me. Uh, um, uh, I think it was maybe in the seventh, eighth grade year, uh, and I wear dress shoes, mostly white, mm -hmm. which uh, in the slash and you with uh, jogging pants. Mm -hmm. And Mama told me, "You can dream do that." I said, "I'm going to be just me. That's what I do." Mm -hmm. And I be sharp. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Okay, okay. Then, and then I started learning another word. We were walking one time, me and my 